Welcome back to another video. This one particularly has been requested by a few people, so I figured I'd go over it. If you read the title, you know exactly what you're doing. So let's get started. You're going to go to nobaraproject.org. I'll link it in the description. All the links that I have in my browser will be in the description for your ease of access and convenience. So once you click on that link, you're going to go over to download Nobara. Once you're here, you see that there's all these different editions. You got standard, NVIDIA, and then, yeah, just those two. So for this video, you're going to be using this version of Nobara right here, the Steam Deck Edition. Go ahead and click on Download and hit Agree. From here, it is going to download a file. Just go ahead and hit Save. I'm going to set it to my desktop so I can easily see it once it's done. And just hit save. The next website you're going to go to is called Bolina Etcher. Rufus is another good one, but for the sake of simplicity, we're going to use Etcher. So hit download. I'm assuming you're probably on Windows, so go ahead and hit the download button. If not, like if you're on Linux or something, you probably know what you're doing, so just go ahead and hit download for that. Just do the same thing. I'm going to set my setup to the desktop. I think that's where it's being stored by default. So Nobara, as you can see, is still downloading. While that's downloading, we'll just go ahead and set up Bolina Etcher. So wherever you save Bolina Etcher, in my case, it's on my desktop here. It's going to go through the setup. So I'll click on it. And you're just going to wait right here. There's really not a whole lot of setup, honestly it should just automatically send you here after a couple minutes. Once you're in here, go ahead and go to Flash from File and wherever you saved that image of Nobara Steam Deck Edition, you're gonna wanna just click on it, hit Open, and then in the target, this is gonna be your device that you flash it to. I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then hit Flash. And then Yes. And it's going to start flashing. It's important to note that this process might take a little while, so just be patient. If it gets to the point where it's validating, you can just skip that. And it should be done at this point, so you can go ahead and take out your USB drive. And as soon as I took it out, that's what happened. That's normal, just go ahead and close all that. You'll wanna power off your computer, and then just to prove to you I'm using an NVIDIA GPU, here it is. The next step you're gonna to wanna to do is take your thumb drive that you flash Nobara Steam Deck Edition to and plug it back into your computer. From here, you're gonna to wanna to turn your computer back on and whatever key it is on your keyboard to boot into your boot selection screen, go ahead and click that. I'm using an MSI motherboard for my build, so I'm gonna hit F11 and I'm just gonna keep pressing it until the menu shows up. So I'll stop pressing it now that that's on the screen and it should let me pick what I want to boot from. So from here I'm going to go to my USB thumb drive which is this one right here. That's the one we flashed with Nobara. There's Nobara. Go ahead and hit start Nobara 40. In my experience the test this media option doesn't always work so I just go ahead and boot right into the installer. It might take a minute but you should eventually get to this screen right here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit next, next, Next. From here, you're just going to choose which drive you want SteamOS installed onto. I'm going to go with this bottom one here. And then I'm going to go to Erase Disk because I don't need anything on the disk other than SteamOS. And then I'm going to hit Next. And from here, you just put in your information, like what your password is and which, what all you want it to be. If you want Steam to log in automatically so you don't have to put in a password every time, go ahead and have this checked. And then I would just keep that checked. Once you have all that information put in, go ahead and hit the next button. It should bring you to this summary right here. It's basically just everything you just did. 
you're going to go ahead and hit install if it looks good and you're going to get to this part right here and this is going to take a minute so I'll come back when it's done installing. Once it's finished go ahead and just hit done right here. Uh, I don't have it set to restart because I like to do it manually that's just me so I'm just going to go ahead and shut down my computer just like that and I don't have a capture card which is why I'm doing it this way now you can just go ahead and unplug that installer that we had put onto the thumb drive I'm going to turn on my PC and hit that F11 button again here in a second I should be in the boot selection screen and I am so I'm going to go to the drive that I just installed SteamOS onto hit enter it's going to take me here and I'm just you, you can wait if you want but uh, you can also just hit enter and it'll immediately boot up SteamOS so I'm just going to give it a minute to do that this part right here is normal for Nvidia graphics cards it looks like artifacting or something like that but this is something that happens when you boot SteamOS on Nvidia cards at least right now it's not going to break anything but it does look really weird once it's done showing that weird screen it might come to this right here just go ahead and wait for it to finish it might look like it's frozen but it's not really um, and this whole process will depend on the speed of your storage device whatever you downloaded it to um, just to prove to you one more time that I am using an Nvidia graphics card and it's then I don't have like a different monitor connected or something like that I'm just going to unplug this HDMI cable and it'll just turn off here in a second. So if I do this, as you can see, I have it unplugged, right? Let me, if I, I'm going to try to zoom out all the way or something similar. So as you can see, uh, my hand is right there. I'm going to unplug it back in. And here in a minute, it should come back up with SteamOS. There it is. We're back on the verifying installation screen for some reason, but I am still plugged into my graphics card here. Try not to make cuts with this. I guess it restarted. I'm not really sure why that happened. Maybe it went to sleep or something. But uh, yeah, I am still using that graphics card. It is definitely an NVIDIA <laughs> graphics card. It's a 1060. Um, you can use a mouse from here to set this up. This is just like the Steam Deck setup. So I'm just going to go to whatever, uh, I'm going to go Eastern Standard Time for New York. And then whatever connection you have, if you have Wi-Fi, like a Wi-Fi card in your PC, you can use that. Um, if that doesn't work, go ahead and plug in an Ethernet cable. I'm just going to use Ethernet. And from here, you're going to want to sign in. So once you sign into Steam, I'll show you that and it should do this whole loading user data thing this is pretty normal at this point it's basically just gonna act like a Steam Deck which is the reason you clicked on this video so I'm just gonna click through here real quick let me go to my system real quick and show you what hardware I'm using yeah, so right here it says NVIDIA or GeForce GTX 1060. That is the detected video card. So I'm going to go back. At this point, it might be a good idea to go to your desktop and install any updates. So I'm just going to hit yes. And then I'm going to close this because I don't want to see this every time I turn on desktop mode. So uncheck that and then hit X. And then it's going to ask you for your password when it asks for the updates. So just go ahead and put that in. It'll open this right here. Uh, just wait for it to say that it's finished. If you get a prompt like this, uh, just hit yes. It'll eventually stop on this screen. Just go ahead and install the updates. Once it's done, it's going to ask you to reboot. Personally, I'm going to say no, because I want to shut this down for myself. So once that's done, it says it's complete. I'm going to close this and just I'm going to go ahead and shut down now.
go ahead and restart your computer and then get to your boot screen and then hit enter to start up and it should have a few more options this time but the default is fine it'll most likely start you back up in desktop mode uh, it's just going to do it with whatever mode you're in last so I'm going to go back to game mode sometimes it does this it's pretty normal there's nothing wrong when it does this it's just a little bit annoying but it, it will go back to steam all right and then from here you have everything all your games and stuff so um, yeah if you like this video please subscribe um, turn on notifications if you want anything similar to this if you have any recommendations for videos that you want to see, just let me know. I hope you guys have a great evening, and uh, take it easy.